Oh my God, there's a Confederate flag in my neighborhood. Hi, so today I'm going to talk about a fun story about someone that was confused about what a Confederate flag looked like. And I'm going to give you my take on what we can do when we make a mistake. So, this story is out of the Seattle Times. Suddenly, there's a Confederate flag flying in Seattle's Greenwood area. Well, not quite. And what the story is, is that someone saw what they thought was a Confederate flag, and they reported it to the Seattle Times to investigate. And it turned out to be a flag of Norway. <laughs> so, Rebecca Morris is an author, and she is a New York Times best-selling author, and she lives in the Greenwood neighborhood of Seattle. Now, if you don't know Seattle or the Greenwood area, it's a pretty nice neighborhood. You know, for $750,000, you might be able to get a 50s ranch-style house. Um, houses there, some cost well over a million dollars. And for all of that, you don't even get a sidewalk, right? <laughs> so this is a pretty nice neighborhood, and you can understand the concern if you thought you saw a Confederate flag. But what she did was she immediately reported it to the Seattle Times. But what she didn't do was actually look up what a Confederate flag was. It's not a hard thing to do. In fact, hang on a sec. Picture of a Confederate flag. Okay, so this has a bunch of stars on it in an X pattern. This flag is a cross pattern, no stars. Not the same thing. So, anyway, it's a mistake. Mistakes are easy to make. I make mistakes daily, and it's not a big deal. I can admit my mistakes. When I make an error, no big deal. I say, oh, I was wrong. How about that? But not, not Rebecca Morris here, no. When she was confronted, she said uh, that she was mistaken. She said, are you kidding me? Hmm. And speaking of the Confederate flag, well, it does look like a Norwegian flag. She says, maybe that's the story. We're so stressed out by things political that we see things that aren't there. So she can't even admit a mistake. She's blaming it on the political climate that has forced her to misperceive things. No, you made a mistake. Big deal. Laugh about it. It's funny. Oh my God. I thought that Norwegian flag was a uh, Confederate flag. It's not a big deal. But she can't admit to that. Just can't own up to making mistakes. And that's something that I see a lot today. Uh, so many people are tied up in their identity about what they believe that they're never actually able to admit a mistake. I don't get it. Man, just admit your mistake. It makes life so much easier. That's a bit of the batter meinhof complex. That's, for example, if we buy a new car, all of a sudden we start seeing the same model car all over the place, and we didn't see it before. That's the thing is we see the things that we're looking for. You know, if you're looking to find white supremacists, you're going to see it in a lot of places that it might not even be there. So if you're looking to be oppressed, you can find that everywhere. And sometimes you're going to be wrong. I think Dr. Phil said it best. And it's like the old saying, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And when you're a victim, everyone looks like they've been abused. It's confirmation bias. You see what you're looking for. That's my question to you. Can you admit if you make a mistake, or do you just blame someone else? Let me know in the comments. Peace. You can help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers by clicking the like button and subscribing. Thanks.